Hey, can you have them ready a bit early on? We won't have a lot of time. Oh, you you want me to put my skates on, do you? So you, you can go off lining Mother Walker's still, is that it? It's the Eckers like. It's a selection, isn't it? We're having a flipping meeting. What election? At shop steward. I thought Ivor Tilsley was your shop steward. She is, but she was never elected, was she? Only by herself, kid. And according to this Pauline Stringer, we'll be in a lot stronger position, you know, if she's got the official union back in behind her. But to do all that, she's got to be voted in. Well, what's the point of an election if there's only one candidate? Ah, but there ain't, you see, cos Ida's putting up an all. What, Ida Clough? Yeah, that's right. Well, I didn't think she was interested in union matters. You are, eh? I think she's gone a bit power mad, you know, since we'll let her decide what to have on her sandwiches. <laughs> hey, have you never been interested in such things? <laughs> Me? No, danger, kid. Only thing I'm interested in at dinner time is how much corn dog there is on my sandwiches. <laughs> so think on. I'll see ya. <laughs> You don't eat much, do you? No, I never was one for a big breakfast, Mr. Sharples. Big breakfast? You've had nothing. Oh, I've had quite enough. Two cups of coffee and I'm ready to take on the world. Oh, I thought I could smell bacon. You couldn't and the tea's all gone as well. I'm quite capable of making my own breakfast. Nobody said you'd have to. Though how some folk can lie in bed half the day, I'll never know. And you can take that hurt look off your face. You weren't the one that spent the night down here. Well, whose fault was that? Well, it wasn't entirely mine, was it? No, it happened not. You're the only one that can get rid of her, though, by making sure that the flat gets finished. And the sooner that happens, the happier we'll all be. What the hell are you doing here? I work here, remember? Not to the point. How did you get in? Yeah, well, we won't go into that, eh? Well, never mind how you got in, but don't make a habit of it, eh? Because if anyone sees you climbing over that gate, it might give them ideas themselves. Well, I just thought, what's the point in being outside when I could be in here doing something useful? You will have a cup of tea, I take it. Yeah, go on. Flaming bills. There is one that might be interesting. The white one. Bell shores. Could be our lucky day. Yeah. It is. That mean I get paid then? It does. 30 quid? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I know that's what you said, like, but... Look, if there's something bothering you, let's be having it, eh? Well, I just thought the job might be worth a bit more, seeing as I did it on my own, you know. How do you work that out? Well, I do know how much the job's worth, you know. Oh, do you? Well, I went round to Bell's yours, didn't I? Yeah, of course you did. What happened? Well, they said they put a cheque in the post, and there it is, a cheque for £100. Now, it doesn't take no ba brain of Britain to work out that that's not quite a fair division of capital. You don't think so, eh? Well, it's a pity you don't know a bit more about it, isn't it? Like the interest I've got to pay on loans to buy gear while I'm waiting for money to come in, like this. Like the rent I've got to pay on this property, like tea that you drink for now. Yeah, I never thought of that. No, you don't, because it doesn't flaming concern you, that's why. But I'll tell you something for nothing, mate. If you poke your nose into things that don't concern you in future, you'll be out of those gates so fast they'll see the dust five miles away. Well, you got your money, didn't you? Yeah, I got me money and you get yours and all, 30 quid. And if you don't like it, you know what you can flaming do. You're only putting in for it because you think it might be a bit of good win. I put it in for it because I happen to think unions are democracy. Not a dictatorship. <laughs> Get a Whose comics have you been with? Oh, belt up, Vera. Hey, I thought you were hoping to win this election. There's no hoping about it. Ah, uh, well, you want to watch that tongue of yours, don't you? I mean, how would Margaret Thatcher have gone on telling people to belt up? Girls in here, if they feel they want to change, I think they've got a right to have one. I'll tell you something else and all. There's more than one in here think you've had your own way for far too long. Well, isn't it flipping marvellous? Things I've done for you lot, I've seen you through. Strikes, lockouts, victimisation, the lot, and a fat lot of thanks I get for it. I hope you realise what you let me in for. It's in your own interest. And yeah, so you keep saying. But for your information, things haven't worked out too bad the way they are. It'll work much better when you've got everything on a proper footing. <laughs> you don't know how he tells you like I do. It's bad enough as it is. Without having the official seal of approval slapped on her. And what makes you so sure Ivy Tilsley will win? Well, you tell me she won't, and I could get interested. <laughs> Proving my point. What point? That when it comes down to it, it's a matter of personalities. Not relations between management and workshop, but a personal battle between you and Mrs Tilsley. How can you look at anything from an objective point of view, either of you? Oh, thanks, Lou. 
tell me something. Go on. Who do you think is going to win? What I think doesn't matter. Whoever wins will be the democratically elected representative of the girls in this shop. That's what matters. With the official backing of the union. Right. And I'm happy to go along with that, whoever it is. I take it you'll do the same. I haven't got much choice, have I? Hello. And where's your keeper then? Hey, Tracy. Oh, she's at Playgroup. Do you know, the person who invented them ought to get the Nobel Prize for service to mum's nerves. Yeah, no way. She's at a smashing age. Oh, yes. If you call Gerin into everything, being at a smashing age. <laughs> there you are, look. Will you put that up for me for this afternoon? Yes, of course. No problem. And I will pay you for last week's one I'm here. Hey, she'll be able to help you with the filing, won't you? When to get this business of yours off the ground. When we do. Not much luck, then. I wouldn't exactly say that. No luck at all would be nearer the point. Oh, well, I'll put the word round, love. There's one or two councillors say they might be interested, like. I mean, these things take time, you know, like everything else. They do say the first 30 years are the worst. When you're starting up on your own, you know. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. You're a great help, you are. <laughs> See ya. Hello. 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 Oh, uh, Mrs. Walker says, uh, have you got any of that patty, bait stuff she gets, you know? Oh, yes. Doesn't Hey, you took some stick last night, didn't you? Oh, well, I asked for it, didn't I, Alf? Not often I get a decent night out. Better still when it's in the line of business, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Tell you what, though. That here at the Flying Horse, it's a bit on the gassy side. A bit on the pricey side, too, from what I've heard. Oh, well, I'm all right there. Tony Hayes, you know. He saw me all right. Oh, he's taken over there, hasn't he? Yeah, it's him that's behind this uh, barber shop quartet like we're oh, doing, you know. Yeah, not half bad from what I've heard. Well, it's not really my cup of tea, you know, but the customers seem to like it. The place were fairly even. Are they? And the echoes like a bunch of regulars having a bit of a giggle. Ah, well, I wonder thought it was too difficult, you know, getting some willing lads for a thing like that. Ah, well, that's what down to me, weren't it, you know, opening my big gob. How do you mean? Well, they were getting up my nose, madly, not about how marvellous they were, bragging about them. I said, it's nothing that the Rovers return can't do if we put our mind to it. What's he say to that? Laughed his socks off, said we couldn't. Any road, he said he'd put the beer up if we could, you know. Well, that sounds like fighting talk to me, Fred. Right, his beer would be right, but I mean, where are we going to get a bab shop quartet? Shouldn't be all that much trouble. Four's not a lot to find. There's Alfie if we want. Hey, hang on a minute. Well, you could do something like that. He used to be a choir boy, or so you tell me. Oh, yeah, that was years ago, though. I, uh, I wouldn't mind having a bash myself. There you are. You're halfway there already. Yeah, we are, aren't we? <laughs> I'm getting sick of this, I am honest. I mean, whose daft idea was it to have this election? We were all right as we were before. Oh, so the penny's dropped, has it? I might have expected that from you. Hey, now, don't you start. Start? She's never flaming well stopped. Look, I don't mind you having a chat among yourselves, but they can hear you lot the other side of Weatherfield. Well, it's this election, isn't it? We never had all this ad row before, did we? I see. Well, if that's the way you feel, you can always call it off, you know. Carry on muddling through your own tip pot little way for the rest of your working lives, if that's what you want. So you want to have a proper say in what goes on round it? We do have a say. If we don't like Summit, we tell him. Aye. And he listens if he happens to feel like it. The difference is, he won't have any choice when you've got a properly elected steward, will he? No. I'm surprised you're the only one round here that can't see it. Oh, what might you know? You'll go along with her. Listen, Ivy Tilsley, I've told you there's more than one not happy in here the way That's things true. are on. More not one by a long chalk. Oh, change flipping record. Oh, dear. Listen, I reckon if we're going to have this election, we better have it quick before the flipping flood back. Suits me. You can have it now for all I care. See, there she goes again making decisions. Have you any objection to having it today, Ida? I suppose not, but it's nice to be asked, isn't it? Right. Well, I suppose we could have the vote straight after your meeting at dinner time. All right. Listen, we'll have to have a dinner hour. All right, then. As soon as you come back, how's that suit? Right. So it's me. Ida? We're having none of this silly business with hands are like I'm in favour of it. Listen, a show of hands has always been good enough before. Well, it's not good enough now. A secret ballot's what I want. Yeah. Well, if that's what you want. Yes. 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 Ivy? As long as it's not our county votes. Oh, hey, well, what about Mr Baldwin? He could do it. Hey, he's management. Well, I suppose I could do it. Well, that's yeah. I have no object. Yeah. Right, that's settled then. Half yeah. past one in here. And may the best girl win.
Well, and it beats me what you find to do with yourself all day long. If I didn't have a job to come to, oh, I'd go around the bend in a week. It beats going up at half past five every morning, I can tell you that. Yeah, but just wait till the novelty's worn off, you'll be bored out of your mind. I'll risk it. I'll think of you when I'm roasting in the sauce. Oh, get her. <laughs> See you later. That is, if I don't get bored today. Oh, <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I've seen Mrs. Fairclough looking so well for a long time. No, well, she doesn't much to worry her at the moment, has she? Maybe not. But to go through what she's gone through and to pick up the pieces so quickly, well, it does command a certain amount of admiration, don't you think? Well, if that's your yardstick, Mrs. Walker, I reckon you won't be able to find a pedestal big enough to stick me on. Ah, but then you've had so much more practice, Mrs. Tanner. If you want me, Elizabeth, dear, I shall be in the bag. Yes, Mrs. Walker. <laughs> Same again, love. Yes. And not too much ice. I've just had enough heat on me to last me a flaming <laughs> lifetime. Hey, give us a couple of pints of rubbish, Fred, when you're ready with it. I'll get them. Are you trying to buy me off? No, oh, well, you got paid, I got paid, everybody's happy. Let's forget about it, eh? I don't think Bell Shows will be, mate. Nobody really likes to have the heavy mob on their doorstep, you know. Yeah, well, that's their problem, innit? It's mine and all. They're a very good firm. Right. Well, he can't be that good. You don't pay, do you? You got a point, there. <laughs> no, they're just the fellas I want to see. Oh, it's your lucky day, then, Fred, innit? Well, you know this uh, flying horse manager, don't you? Little fella with him out like a windy clean his bookies. The same. What about him? Going down the gauntlet, Annie. What gauntlet? Well, you know, this excuse I've got for a, well, a barber shop quartet, he reckons. He reckons we can't match him. Well, I reckon he's dead right, you know. <laughs> oh, don't chuck the towel in so soon. I mean, what have we got to lose? More to the point, what have we got to gain? Well, he's going to put the beer up, isn't he? You know, if we can ah. uh, better him, right? Well, now you're talking. Well, you can count me out for a start. I reckon we're better off without him, don't you, Fred? Right, well, uh, that's you in then, Eddie, and, uh, and you're out. Definitely. By the way, who else is in the line-up then? Well, up to now, there's uh, Alf Roberts and yours truly. What, you and Alf Roberts? Too late to change my mind, I suppose. No chance, mate. That's three down, one to go. I reckon we've cracked it. <clears throat> well, you took a nice day to party together, I'll set up for you. Well, I've had plenty of practice, haven't I? I don't believe it. No, what's up? Well, it's the first civil word you two said to each other all day. Oh. Well, that's always been the way to his heart, through his stomach. Look, don't think you can buy me off with one tater pie, because you can't. Well, how many tater pies does it take, then? You can keep out of this. <laughs> I intend to. I'll see you later. Right, are you going to Rose? No, I'm off to the community centre to chase up the decorator so Mrs Sharples can get her place back. Right, well, don't let me stop you. The feeling is quite mutual, Albert Tatlock, I can assure you. Right, well, I'll uh, see you later, then. Right. If it's company here after, I was thinking of popping round for the milk stout later on. Oh, were you? Well, I've changed my mind. I'm off to Legion. You are not off anywhere until you've done the washing up. Hello, Bert, my old pal. Off again. <laughs> Country must be going to the dogs. Don't you start. I'm on tonight, you know, worse luck. <laughs> must be something to be said for being off during the day, though. Oh, there is, but it's me. I can't get used to getting up at dinner time and having ale for me breakfast, you know what I mean? <laughs> Give us half a bit and a lager, will you? Right. Hey, up. The girl's not in yet, then. No, they have. I think they've got some sort of a meeting on across the road. It must be important to be taking this long. Aye, it is, yeah. Hey, Bert, uh, I don't suppose you sing, dear. Huh? Not for half a bit, I don't know. No, no, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Yes, so am I. Cheers, kid. No, look, we're getting this quartet up, see, to take on the flying horse, and we're looking for another likely lad. Ah, well, you needn't look at me, sunshine. I'm not a warbler. Well, none of us are, but, I mean, when we get a few pints inside, there's also to know the difference. A few pints? I'll tell you, Summer, you'd need a general anaesthetic to drown my row. <laughs> Who else is in it, any row? Well, up to now, there's me, Alf Roberts and Eddie Yates. Oh, well, go on, then. I reckon I couldn't do any worse than them, could I? Oh, smashing birds. Tell you what. Why don't you come around about two? We'll have a bit of a rehearsal, like, you know. Come round. I'll still be here, won't I? Oh, Cheers. I hope they've landed. Hey, thank goodness that's all. Because you'd think we're relaxing for the President of the United States. No, you'll knock it, dear. Because whoever wins over there will be more important than the President of the United States. With these lasses, anyway. Oh, oh. Okay. Hello, Dad. Hello. Hello. How's it going then, love? 
search me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going anymore. I'm blooming sure they don't. Hey, come on, cheer up. You're going to walk it. No, that's what I reckon till five minutes since. All right, so you don't get back. So what? It's not the end of the world, is it, though? I've got to get back there. I have. I mean, I'm not for the pride of being beaten by either full folk like that. I'm right for that job. I know I am. I know Mike Baldwin. I know where his mind works. I can get things done, you see. I'd of course, she wouldn't get a sniffy. He'd make mincemeat out of her inside a week. Well, look, you just stop worrying yourself, because he's not daft, you know. He knows what he's doing. I mean, he's not as daft as Vera, you know. Hey, uh, there's no laws. There's candidates can't buy the mates a drink, you know. I reckon I might just do that, Vera. <laughs> oh! <laughs> After election. Then perhaps I'll find out who my mates are. <laughs> believe it. They said at Rovers you'd be down here. Well, if I hadn't got a wife who wouldn't leave me alone for ten seconds, I'd still be there. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds for you. How do I link? Now, what am I supposed to say to that? I'll give you a clip. I have just come back from the sauna and my body is glowing like a well-used back boiler and I feel like a million dollars. How do I link? You look a million dollars. Ah, oh, ain't that nice. You know, I thought you being a fella wouldn't notice. Do you reckon you're going to have all this lot in and working by Christmas? Yeah, Eddie's just taking the last of the radiators up there. In a couple of days, it'll be blast off. Oh. Well, I just popped back to tell you I'm going out again. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Well, I've some shopping to do, and I haven't got an outfit tea. Hey, think, gone, love. I could murder a steak. You'll be lucky. I was thinking of something like a walnut and celery salad. See, I've decided to take more care of my body, because it's the only one I've got. Did you hear what I said? I did. And uh, you'd eat a walnut and celery salad if I give you one? Yeah, I'm very much in favour of these health foods. Just as long as it's got a dirty big juicy steak and a couple of pound of chips wrapped round it. There are for you. Fred, Fred. I hope you realise that the good name of the Rovers is at stake. Well, that's what we're doing it for, Mrs. Walker. Yes, but now one of you has the first idea about four-part harmony. What's that got to do with it? Look, Fred, if you must go ahead with this challenge, then why don't you try something more traditional, like darts, dominoes? Look, Mrs. Walker, anything the flying horse can do, we can do better. Oh, I wish I had your faith. I really do. Right, lads, let's get on with it. Uh, Fred, I've been thinking, perhaps this is not such a good idea after oh. all. Yeah, you could be right, you know, Fred. Well, I've already said we'll take them on. Oh, you got it fixed up? I have. Well, I suppose if it's far enough off, uh, like uh, three years. Monday. Yeah. Next Monday? Hey, right. Uh, that don't give us much time. Then, exactly. So if you just stop your yakking, we'll get on with it, eh? Oh, well, that's <laughs> oh, 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 my the Andrew says he's not got nothing on that lot. Hey, wait till they start singing. They make pump rock sound like Gilbert and Sullivan. Hey, listen, just a minute. I mean, we don't know what we're singing or out, do we? Well, sing some what we all know, then we can give you Anne with a chorus. We don't need Anne with a chorus, thank you, Elsie, and we're singing Sweet Adeline. Sweet Adeline? Hey, what's the matter with that? It's lovely if it's sung properly. I wouldn't get your hopes up too high if I were you, Betty. <laughs> Sweet Adeline? Do you know, Fred, I think I've underestimated you. That is an excellent choice. I suppose it was the rich Edwardian flavour you've gone for. Oh, no, it's not that exactly, Mrs Walker. It's uh, the only music I could fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, come on, let's get on with it. Now, can we have the best of silence, please, for the Rover's Return Barbershop Quartet, please? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. After four. Ready? Yeah. One... Two, three, four. Sweet Adeline, my Adeline, at night, dear heart, for you I find in all my dreams your fair face beams, your Have cotton wool in your ears. Hey, Mrs. It wasn't as bad as all that, was it, Mrs. Sharples? You'd be better without him, you know. Hey, now come on, Mrs. Sharples. Well, suit yourself. You're only asking my opinion. Uh, she has got a good ear for music, you know, Fred. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll try it without you. See what happens. All right. All right. If that's the way you're flipping, want it? Well, you do want us to win, don't you? All right then. Go on. After four, ready? Right. Four. Sweet Adeline. 
my Adeline, at night, dear heart, for you I pine. Hear all my dreams, your fair face beams, your Touchline job, Fred. Ah, oh, well, don't worry, cos we'll be needing a manager, you know, Fred. And that's not all you'll flipping need, is it? You'll need another singer, won't you? If you've got any ideas, let me know. Excuse me, Mrs. Sharp. Oh, oh, right, let's have a bit of hush, then. The result of the election for shop steward is Ida Clough, 14 votes. Oh, Ivy Tilsley, 17 votes. Oh, so Ivy Tilsley is your elected shop steward. By heck, I've seen happier faces in an undertaker's parlour. Go on, tell her. Oh, I thought it might have something to do with me. Go on, tell me what. Well, I've been to see about your flat, Mr Sharples, and, uh, well, I'm afraid you're going to be stuck with us a little longer than you thought. You've no need to tell me that. I've seen the place for myself, haven't I? And I don't know about me being stuck with you. I got the impression that it was the other way around. Oh, we didn't ask you to come and did yeah, we? Look, I, I know this isn't the ideal situation, Yes, you but... can say that again. And you can take that black look off your face, Albert Tatlock. I never was one to stay anywhere where I wasn't wanted. I'm off first thing in the morning. Oh, well, that suits me. But hang on a minute. Off where? I've just been on the phone to Mr Foster. He says he'd be very glad to see me. Oh, I see. Well, uh, well, yes, I mean, perhaps you would be better off in St Anne's and happier there, wouldn't you? I'll let you know the minute the decorators move out. You've no need to bother. Sorry, I don't follow you. I've been mucked up by you and your committee for long enough. I'll be the one to say when I come back. If I come back. What do you mean, if you come back? I'm fast coming to the conclusion, Albert Tatlock, that the air up there is much more to my liking than it is round here these days. And you can take that any way you like. Hey, and look, yeah, this uh, other singer, you know. No, I reckon Miss Nuka, Dolph. Tried every feather I know. Hey, hang on a minute. Listen, is there anything in the rules that says it's got to be four fellas? Well, not as I know. What are you getting at? Well, I don't know why we didn't think of this before, Thanks but there she much. is, large as life and twice as lovely. Oh, no. If word got out I've been doing a double out with Eddie Yates, I'd never work again. Yeah. Anyway, she's a professional. They wouldn't wear it. That's even better. Now, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Thanks, love. Sorry, gentlemen. ta ra ta Hey, uh, she might be a professional, but, uh... I know somebody is, isn't. There you are. You see, I said someone to turn up. Hey, you wouldn't be thinking of the same person I'm thinking of, would you? A person not a million miles from here who pushed me into it this morning by any chance. And the same person who said we'd have no trouble in getting a quartet together. You wouldn't. We would, you know. Oh, yes, we would. Oh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> making birthday plans and the barbershop quartet facing stiff competition in tomorrow's program at 6.30. In a few moments on Granada Plus, one of the doctors in charge has got ideas above his station.